Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate new options to define initial values when creating a parameter. For this demo, I'm going to create a city parameter that is of text data type. Uh, we will allow multi-select option and I'm going to use a logical SQL query for the possible values. The query is simply fetching the list of values from the city column from the data set that I'm working on. The first new option that we have introduced for parameter is that initial values are no longer a mandatory field when creating or editing a parameter. So in this example, I'm going to enter no initial value and click OK. Notice that the parameter is saved. Now, when I drop the parameter into the filter control grammar of the dashboard filter bar, notice that the parameter holds no value because we didn't define an initial value. Now, let's open the parameter uh, filter control. When you open the parameter, the surface of the parameter filter control is similar to a list filter. On a list filter, when there are no values in the selection list, then list filter would treat as all values applied to the visualization in the canvas. But in a parameter, when there are no values in the selection list, it truly means that the parameter holds no value. Now, let's look at the second new option that we've added for initial value definition. Same example, a uh, city parameter use, using a logical SQL query. When you open up the initial value dropdown, you see a new option called first possible value. Now, this is essentially going to look at the values returned by this logical SQL query, which is sorted in alphabetical order or in the order that's defined by the query. And it fetches the first value from the list and uses that first value as the initial value for the parameter. So let's go ahead and save the parameter. And when you drop the city into the filter control grammar of the dashboard filter bar, notice that the initial value is now a delight, which is the first value from the list of possible values that we've defined in the parameter using the logical SQL query. With these two new options for defining initial value of a parameter, the definition of parameter now becomes more fluid and flexible and you can define the parameter as you wish based on your business case and requirements. Thank you for watching this video.